Alright, so first I want to start by saying Kala Lal Yahawa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the letters of the Grimmel Stone. Salutation to Akim out there, person is in sincerity, the whole Pulalek, Shalom. This is Brother Kanan from James Jamaica. You had a quick lesson. And uh, today I just want to highlight um, something that came in the news, you know what I mean? It says Jamaica and other Latin Caribbean. Right, let me just read it from the article itself. It says Jamaica tops homicides in Latin America and the Caribbean. All right, so why little Jamaica is topping um, these uh, these countries are major countries out there also. You know what I mean? Because it's not just this alone, this that you're seeing on screen, right? It also goes back to show you even when it comes to the uh, to the entire world basically, um, we're still up there as um and one of the top this is not uh, recent this is 2017 but it still shows you that these countries are always in the top 10 or there about which shows you um uh, something is um is necessary to point out there now why jamaica is stopping um are these countries stopping uh, for most part these countries are caribbean island these are islands and um they're very small in population you know i mean jamaica is just under three and um three million people uh and it's very small as i said though the rate uh the how we calculate the um the murder rate is basically per hundred thousand so every killing per hundred thousand basically that's how they do it and according to the u.n nation if you're going 10 per hundred thousand that's an ep epidemic that needs serious um look into all right now why again why these big countries are not um looked on like how oh, jamaica is also looked on you know what i mean as in why the pop why the why isn't they're not amongst the top 10 and you have countries like america doing so much evil and countries like uh china russia and these countries that are involved in major wars why are they not Syria, Libya, these countries, because we don't want to take it, it's murder, but there are different levels, all right? So, let's for understand that you have to look into the word homicide. The homicide is basically the killing of one person by another, all right? And you're not going to find those type of killing, you know what I mean, where countries is basically flying planes of other countries are using drones and killing thousands of people in one strike or in one day. You're not going to find that amongst um, the murder rate. You're just not going to see it there. All right. Um, but what you will find, all right, um, that would be classified as genocide. But there is a type of genocide that still relates to even um, murder, or, or that is still impacting the murder rate. And this type of genocide is basically a systematic killing. Um, that these leaders uh, create an environment and a system where they have you killing each other without knowing that you are basically running their system like how they want it to be run. All right. Now, what is systematic um, systematic killing? All right. All right. So here it goes. It says the systematic extermination of an entire national, racial, religious, or ethnic group. Right. That is what it is, the systematic, and it says genocide here also, it says genocide, the systematic extermination of an entire national, racial, religious, or ethnic group. All right, and it also takes a kill, what is homicide there. Now let's go back to this here. All right, so I'm going to read uh, a few of this real quick, bear with me. All right, so it says intentional homicides uh, per which is basically murder intentionally um so per hundred thousand it says country ranking here it says definition intentional homicides are estimated estimates of unlawful homicides purposely inflicted as a result of a domestic dispute interpersonal violence remember the domestic dispute interpersonal violence violent conflicts over land resources inter gang violence over turf or control all right and violent uh, predatory violence and killing by armed groups all right so we're not going any further into that no 
Look at this. Right? No. This is what you call a ghetto. Just by looking into it, you see a ghetto. Even though you're seeing big buildings, this is definitely a ghetto. Alright? The structure of all these houses are giant together now. People are packed together. There is no... Um, it's clear there's going to be um, conflict among these people. Um, straight up. Because you're packed. No. Uh, let me give you an example. Let's get into some scripture. Uh, Job, sorry, not Job, Lot and um, Abraham, uh, they were rich, you know what I mean, they didn't lack anything, but they weren't spaced enough for, for them to basically grow, you know what I mean, or to actually, and what happened, they had to decide to split because it was causing strife, fight, and the lot, um, Job did have to say, Lot, look here, Lot, you take one side and me take the next side, because it's not going to work out, you know what I mean, so, let me just read that real quick. You know what I mean? So, this is Genesis um, 13, and uh, let's start from verse verse, um, verse 6. It says, And the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together. For their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife between the herdmen of Abraham's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle, and the Canaanites and the Perizzites dwell in, in them, dwell then in the land. And Abraham said unto Lot, Let there be no strife. I pray thee, strive mean fight. I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we are brethren. Right? Yeah, all of you are so-called so-called Jamaicans, you are virgin, so-called um, Trinidadians, virgin, you know what I mean? You are all Benjamites, you know what I mean? But yet still there's so much tribe between you. And, uh, and the other tribes that you are Israelite, you Latinos and Native Americans, you are the true biblical Israelite. I said that once again. Let's continue. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, for me. From me, if thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. Right? And they separate. And there was no more war between them. Problem solved. Now, look at this. Alright? These countries, not all these countries have the same um, space or opportunity in, in some of these places for people to do so. Right, let me show you the system work. All right, now if you look, these countries that are on the list, all right, that are these countries, not the entire country is bad, are under um, a high crime rate. They are particular cities, right, and I say cities that um, you will find these things, and the reason why is because one, opportunities, two, there will be. Um, um, criminal gangs there because where you find um, these opportunities that's how they that you're gonna find a lot of gangs there or gang members there you know what I mean and look you can ask any Jamaican um, about their two major party you know what I mean and you, they will tell you that look everybody know that the CIA fund um, the JLP party or the Shawa Posse you know what I mean everybody know that um, the next party the PMP did have to go look um, um, assistance from other countries such as um, Cuba and other countries that are basically aligned to that type of um, a regime, our, um, our mindset, you know what I mean? And there was a conflict, it was designed from outside and set up, was coming from outside and was designed to, to basically have this war. Now you have PMP, JLP, speaking of Jamaica, and you know every other country have the same thing, you know what I mean? Political endeavors are political um, reasons for wars, and then it leads from there to where it's gang related, and then it's not only gang related, everybody have come to the cities, a flock the cities for opportunities, and it's overpopulated and look like this, right? Are even poorer, but packed together. So there's no space, no, um, um, no, 
it's just people going at each other because it's always tense. You know what I mean? And the the guns are there. The culture is also set up there where their the people reasoning is also messed up. You know what I mean? And you have that. Now let me just get to the next precept. I just read about Job, right? Um, Lot, sorry. Right? This is what the scripture said about Israel and you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the true Israelites, alright? I'm trying to make this video long. Alright, so forgive me if I'm going fast. This is Isaiah 1 and 7. It says, Your country is desolate, the land of Israel. You know what I mean? All the tribe had a, a, a lot, right? In, in the land of Israel. And they were given lands. You know what I mean? And they were also taught how to, um, to, to live. You know what I mean? We had cities that if someone accidentally kills someone, you know what I mean, are, you know, they had cities to flee into so that they would not be, um, they could not be pursued by the, the avenger and they just have blood, a spill for blood. No, these things are natural and you have to create environment for these things. Even in society today, Jamaica is so small where um, if someone violates her in Kingston and you decide to flee, it's easy for find them. Or it's easy for book up into you again because the it's not big. It's not a big country where oh you can move to somewhere else and start life there good and you're good again. No, in a world that way. You know what I mean? And if it's easy for, for, for find, to get find or to be found. Let's continue. It says says strangers devour it in your presence and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers and the daughter of zion you israelites you negroes so called jamaican benjamites you know, trinidad people right continue all of you um, tribes that i'm referring to are left as a cottage in a vineyard as a lodge in a garden of cucumber as a besieged city right that's how you people are set up you know what I mean? You're placing ghettos, slums, you know what I mean? Garrisons, right? And with the guns and the, the type of living, that is why it is crime rate is high amongst you people because it is not suitable for living. Alright? It is not designed for living. Alright? And again, the gangs are there doing activities because they are funded with the drugs they are funded with the the weapons you know what i mean them, them poor bad poor just like anybody else or them get so much guns or them get drugs from you know what i mean jamaica no no no, no grow heroin jamaica no grow um um coke and them thing there it comes here you know what i mean by different means and different ways and you have the upper heads but basically yeah uh, and um, the, the, the lower the you you get to so called get the people doing their job and that's the reason why them thing happen. You know what I mean? It's systematically designed and there's a reason why because the so called white man wants to destroy your people. That is the reason why you people are a part of the top ten or top fifteen or top twenty. The Caribbean, the Latin Americas, that's all you tribes. You Negroes, you are targets for this systematic destruction alright and it's not it's clear to you guys because you're not looking it, even though you can you can say oh this is a fun uh, JLP you know and them are funding the, the, the weapons and you can say that but you cannot see the system you cannot see why are they doing it yes for for, for, for political um, ge um, for geopolitics reason yes but not only that also to destroy you as a people they want to see you kill each other the willing syndrome they want to see oh you look a bit darker than one so less opportunity for you for you because you're darker and then you start fight because you start beat yourself and you don't know where it come from you don't know where this design come from it's called a willing syndrome look it up all right them use things to turn to divide and rule you fight against each other they don't have to do nothing because you're already but on the supply the fuel you're already a fire set up and all them doing is throwing gas into it giving you the guns giving you the drugs the dirty money right that's all and having puppets um orchestrating the show that's how it works all right now um yes 
So this is um, Psalms. I'm going to read the last verse because I don't want to make the video long. You know? So you're never going to see America and those big countries a name calling in no homicide thing because it's really, there are, are millions of people in those countries. You know what I mean? If not billion. And the, the, it's, the ratio is going to be low. You know what I mean? But for you small islands, you're going to see them and they're going to target you people. You know what I mean? It's hard to flee from one parish to one next parish without getting into trouble the same way because it's so small. Where are you going to run to? You know what I mean? Where are you going to run to? Let me read this real quick. This is Psalms 83. And um, let's start from verse 1. It says, Keep not silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that ate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken craft to counsel against thy people. Systematical counseling and design against you, and consult against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come. And let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Right? For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, the tabernacle of Edom, the Ishmaelites of Moab, the Agarines, Jibal, and Ammon, and Amalek. Right? These are nations that are basically um, side with the so called white man to destroy you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Alright? And until you know that, you're still going to be taking part in the system, not knowing what you're doing. So that I want to say, Kalalal, Ya Basham Ya Shai, Basham Rakakwadash, Double Anna and Steady Apostles, and the list of James Graham Stone, and to act about the person to shoot in sincerity, Shalom. Hope someone was edified, and um, again, Shalom.